Hi BookTube, my name is Juan, I am Just One Reader, and I haven't really been very active lately on BookTube, uh, but so I wanted to make this kind of update video to give you guys an update of my life and my reading. Um, and well, I, I guess I should mention that there are some reasons why I haven't been really active here lately. One of them is because I just started a teaching position at uh, a university here in Mexico City. I'm teaching psychology and um, at university, so I'm teaching, I'm an actual college teacher now, which I still cannot really believe um, because I'm pretty young to be teaching college. But um, yeah, I just, I feel great. I honestly feel really great. It's everything that I had ever wanted and more. It is my dream job, of course, my dream job, my, like my number one dream job is a psychoanalyst, but my number two dream job has always been teacher. And I was used to teaching children, but now that I'm teaching college kids, huh, kids, they're like seven years younger than me, but yeah, um, I, it's just something else. It's um, really, really wonderful. And I am teaching two different courses, which is a lot of work but um, they're great. One course is on psychopathology, so it's really, really cool. It's really fun, and it's one of my areas of expertise, I dare say. And the other course that I'm teaching is um, even even better, even more fun. I, I, I didn't actually believe it was gonna be as fun as it has turned out to be, but it is a course on um, clinical skills, clinical, interview, you know, how to work with patients, how to talk to people, how to be with people and how to, you know, develop certain skills that you need in your clinical practice. So those are the two courses that I'm teaching and I am just having a blast. Um, so I've been doing that and I'm still kind of adapting and adjusting into that. And then the other thing that has kept me sort of, um, um, away from booktube is I am I, I've, I've sort of looked into a lot of offices uh, I've you know I have an office here but um, I I've been wanting to move from that office for quite some time and so um, I think I have found the perfect office for me it's much smaller than the office that I have right now um, the office that I currently have is huge. It's really, really, really big for what I need. It's it's more than I need. Um, and I found one, which I think is going to be the one that I'm going to choose. It's much smaller, but it is located in the best area of Mexico City. It's the nicest, fanciest it's the best location to have your office. Um, so I think I'm gonna sacrifice the space because as they say, location, location, location. So anyway, those are two things that, uh, that I've had going on in my mind and that's why I haven't been reading a lot um, because on, on top of those things, I still have my usual things, you know, the, the things that I always have going on, my psychoanalytical training, uh, my patients, my um, supervisions, my classes, my seminars, my academic reading. So um, it's been hard, but I, I'm trying to read at least something, you know, uh, uh, as much as I can. So um, I think I'm going to start by talking about the two books that I finished last. So I finished The Catcher in the Rye, which was a reread. Um, it was a reread because I gave a lecture talking about The Catcher in the Rye at another university, not the one that I'm teaching at, but another university. Um, and I gave a lecture on The Catcher in the Rye and it was quite a success. It was really interesting and a lot of fun. Um, and then I finished reading uh, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. And I really, really, really enjoyed like 70% of it. But the other 30%, th this is, by the way, a bind up of all five novels. Um, I, I just read the first one, the original Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And as I said, I really, really loved like 70% of it. I thought it was wacky and wonderful. 
in exactly the right ways for me, the ways that I like and, you know, very zippy dialogue and really funny banter that made me think of Monty Python and Gilmore Girls in a way, just very, very zippy and fun. But then the other like 30%, um, what's the deal with my face? You, it's The lighting is really weird there. Um, yeah, that's more normal. Um, the other 30% or so was just weird and nonsensical, but not in the right way for me. So I really enjoyed it. I think I gave it like three and a half stars, but I couldn't really say that it is uh, a great book for me. Um, although I, I, I had a lot of fun. There are some sequences that are still in my mind and that I just found hilarious and delicious. Um, so yeah, it was not a complete success, but I really enjoyed it. And the book that I am currently reading right now and that I hope to finish today is this beautiful, beautiful thing, which you cannot see now. There it is. The Duchess of Bloomsbury Street by Helene, Helene Hamph. So um, Helene Hamph, you probably know by now, is becoming my soulmate, my literary soulmate. She, the, the first book that I read by her, was Apple of My Eye, which is a wonderful memoir about uh, two middle-aged women, Helen Hanf and her other friend, I think her name was Patsy. And they go uh, and have amazing adventures in New York City and they get to rediscover the city. And it's the one of my top five books of of life. I, I just love that book with a passion. And so after reading that, I read her, probably her most popular book, which is 84 Charing Cross Road. And I adored it. Like I loved it. Maybe not as much as Apple of My Eye, because I have Apple of My Eye in a kind of pedestal. But I really, 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 really adored 84 Charing Cross Road. And this one, The Duchess of Bloomsbury Street, turns out to be the sequel, if you will, to 84 Charing Cross Road. It is about Helene Hamph exploring London when she finally gets to travel to London. And it's, you know, this amazing person um, who writes so wonderfully well. And again, there's a lot of Gilmore Girls feel to this woman and her writing. Everything is very zippy and charming and clever and warm and, and sweet, but sarcastic as well. So there's kind of a zingy quality there. She's just amazing. And she is exploring London, which is one of my favorite places ever in the world. And it's actually making me think back on when I first went to London many years ago, like 10, 11 years ago, when I first went to London with my grandmother, who is, you know, she has already died, but uh, she took me to London when I was 16. Uh, when I turned 16 as a birthday present, she took me to London and Paris. Um, and I loved Paris, but London was just different, you know, especially for someone like me, someone who had been completely obsessed with Harry Potter and all things English. Um, I remember going to London for the first time and feeling just completely out of words to explain what was going on inside of me. So this book is bringing back a lot of those memories and those like feelings of like utter wonderment and 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 just feeling ah uh, it's it's wonderful. So I hope I finish that so that I can make a tiny review. And those are the books uh, that I have read and the book that I will be reading next. Um, thanks for watching uh, this weird update on my life more than my reading. I am just one reader and I will see you next time.